egg spot. For this project, we'll need a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver. Before we start, always remove the AC adapter and battery. Remove the two screws that hold the center control power button cover to the base of the computer. Unscrew the four screws holding the bottom base access cover. Remove the cover starting from right to left. Unscrew the 11 screws that are holding down the touchpad palm rest to the base. Disconnect the antenna wires from the mini wireless card. Loosen the antenna cables from the base assembly antenna routing channels. Turn the computer over and fully open the display flattening out as far as possible. Lift and unsnap the power button cover using a small flat head screwdriver starting from right to left. Unscrew the two retaining screws above the keyboard. Gently lift up the keyboard to reveal the ribbon cable below. Be careful while lifting the keyboard because it is very easy to damage the ribbon cable and the motherboard connector. Lift the keyboard cable connector latch and remove the keyboard ribbon cable and keyboard. Remove the Bluetooth card by unscrewing the single retaining screw. Disconnect and remove the display cable and camera cable from the motherboard. Unplug the Bluetooth cable from the motherboard. Slide the antenna wires out of the motherboard and loosen them from the top of the routing channels of the laptop. Unplug the power button circuit board cable from the motherboard and remove. Remove the four screws from the middle of the palm rest and the single waffle screw on the upper left hand corner. Unplug the touchpad cable from the motherboard. Carefully lift up the touchpad palm rest off the base starting from the upper left corner, unsnapping it along the edges. Unscrew the three screws that hold down the express card slot assembly on the base. Gently lift and remove. Firmly press the express card slot assembly connector into the motherboard connector and screw down with the three screws. Lay the touchpad palm rest on the base and snap the edges in. Screw down the touchpad palm rest with the five screws. Connect the touchpad to the motherboard.
Pass the antenna cable through the motherboard to the bottom. Reroute the antenna cables through the upper routing channels. Reroute and connect the video cable and camera cable to the motherboard. Connect the Bluetooth cable to the motherboard. Place the power button board and cable into the motherboard connector and press down on the connector latch. Connect the Bluetooth card to the cable and secure the retaining screw to the base. Place the keyboard cable into the motherboard connector and press down on the latch. Place the keyboard into the palm rest aligning the tabs on the bottom of the keyboard to the palm rest. Screw down the top of the keyboard. Place the power button cover on the laptop starting from left side, moving to the right side while snapping it into place. Close the LCD panel and flip the laptop over. Replace the 11 screws that hold down the touchpad palm rest to the base. Reroute the antenna cables through the bottom routing channels. Connect antenna cables to the mini wireless cards. Replace the two screws that hold the power button cover to the laptop base assembly. Place the bottom base access cover onto the base assembly starting from the left to right. Tighten the four screws. Reseat the battery. I hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.